Hi everyone, um, welcome to our YouTube channel and our first um, vlog with humans in it I guess, or one where we're talking to the camera at least. Um, so, are you looking at me? What? Who's a goody bear? <laughs> Look at his face, he's so happy. Leave me alone. Um, so we thought we'd just do a quick um, quick film um, on some of the questions that we get asked. Um, so, and hopefully if you like these, then we'll do more of them. So please make sure you comment, um, you like, or you subscribe, or all three, if you really, really like us, that would be amazing. Um, so, a few things that we always get asked about the dogs, a bit about them. So Phil is four years old, his birthday is in April, so he'll be five next year. Um, he weighs about eight and a half stone, and he's a giant Alaskan Malamute, so he's only one side though, so I think it was his dad was a giant, his mum was a normal one, so he is slightly bigger, he's also slightly curvy. Um, that initially happened when we got him neutered, and then um, they did tell us to drop his food, uh, we didn't, and then um, he got a bit curvy, but when he's your own dog you don't really realise that until you see him next to another one, and you don't really see many of these in the UK, which is where we are. Uh, we're British, um, so we didn't really no notice him gaining weight until probably it was too late. So we're trying to shift it. Um, it's taken a long, long time, um, and we do different things to try and shift that. But it's a it's a work in progress. Um, and yeah, so if you get your dog neutered, make sure you halve their food intake. Then we've got Nico right here. Um, so Nico, um, she is three. She is uh, Alaska Malamute as well. They're both Casey registered pedigree Malamutes. Um, and we got her from a breeder in Scotland. Um, and she hasn't got any giant in her. Um, she's actually probably not got as good a breed in this field. When you look at, when you get a KC chart, it shows you um, how many champions, so how many um, people or um, dogs obviously in that bloodline have um, gone on to star in like Crofts or anything and won awards. Um, so Phil was a brilliant uh, breed and Nico, she didn't have many champions in her bloodline. And then we've got little Milo. Ah, ah. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Sorry. Um, Milo, we think he's a ragamuffin. He has, he's the only one we got with no papers. Um, it was a bit of a rush by. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. Um, he, yeah, so we don't have any papers for Milo to know for certain. We were told he was a ragamuffin, but he, he looks very Maine Coon. I've seen some people that follow us have sent us, um, videos and, or photos of theirs and their Maine Coons and they look exactly the same as Milo. Um, he's really growing up my arm. And the fact that Milo is abs- Ow! absolutely obsessed with water the things i do for a video get off me look at that look at that oh, scratch going down my arm this is what happens when you disturb his sleep leave thank you um yeah so we think he might be a main coon um so we found that you can get i think he's gonna attack my face he is isn't he Okay, gonna eat my hair. Well, that works for a video. Thanks, Milo. You're performing on form today. You are. <laughs> um, so, so, yeah, so you can get DNA tests, um, which you just have to send off a bit of hair. I think you can get them on Amazon as well. So I'm really tempted to do that. I think it's about 50 or 60 pounds just to see what he has got in him. Um, as I'm, I am curious, I really do think he may be Maine Coon which would be interesting because I always hashtag uh, Alaska Malamute or Ragamuffin on each of the photos and stuff we put on Instagram. So I would have been hashtagging wrong for like the last seven or eight months. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's our pets. Milo um, was, was like a rush by. Basically, Shane had told me I couldn't have any more dogs and I was getting really, really um, broody, not for babies, for another dog. I've really, I've always wanted a Samoyed and I genuinely thought for our wedding in July, he would have got me the Samoyed, a beautiful white dog, perfectly compliment for Lanico, um, but he didn't. He assures me no more dogs. So I thought it was a bright idea to just rock up with a cat because he never said no more cats. Um, turns out it wasn't a bright idea. He wasn't best pleased. Um, he does love Milo now. He does now, but at the time, <laughs> he's so not happy with me. But at the time, um, yeah, he, he wasn't too 
um, impressed with me rocking up with a cat. Um, but he forgave me eventually. He has told me though if I was to turn up with another cat, because I did think I've got a boy dog, a girl dog, I've got a boy cat, now I just need to get a girl cat. Um, he, he said no more cats either. He's, he's really clarified his position now on any form of pet. Um, whereas if it was me, I'd probably have 10 dogs. I wouldn't have ever got them neutered because I would have bred from them and I would have kept a puppy each time I bred. Um, but then I would be a seriously crazy dog lady. Ah, oh, she's coming to see me. Hello. 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 Are we going to have a cuddle? Are we going to have a cuddle? <laughs> So, so things to know. So, um, temperament wise, uh, Phil is exactly what you see on Instagram. He is um, a chilled back dude. He's a bit lazy. He's just a big teddy bear, basically. He's always off lead as well because he's friendly uh, to every dog, to every person. He might scare a few kids when they're on their bikes in a park, but um, just because they think he's a big wolf. Um, but yeah, he is. He is incredible. Nico is my best friend in the whole wide world. She's my bestie. Um, she's also known as Devil Dog in this house for Shane. Um, she's a bit destructive sometimes. She doesn't like when you um, you leave the house. Um, you get punished for that. She um, she's also a bit of an anxious dog. So she she gets jealous um, when she's on the park. Uh, if you it started off if we were to stroke another dog or if another dog was to try and play with Phil, it could play with Nico. But the minute it tried to play with Phil, she wouldn't share Phil. Um, but then it got to the stage where she wouldn't. Um, she wouldn't allow, um, et, well, any dog on the park. She, you couldn't go near them. Um, so, so yes, Nico can be a bit funny sometimes, but she's also dead protective. So she has her her bonuses, um, and we just keep her on lead to make sure it's safe. But it's a bit difficult when we do meet and greets and whatnot. Um, and yeah, that is us. So um, thank you for watching. Please comment any other questions that you may have, and please make sure you like and subscribe to us. Bye, guys.